not every, but a lot, how we forget about Pierre Gasly all the time. We also yeah. forgot about Alpine. And that something actually happened at Alpine. Yeah. Um, Otmar got fired, so we will be seeing that. Or maybe not. Maybe next Netflix will forget that Alpine exists as well. Um, maybe. But I want to get Otmar's thoughts and feels on how Oscar Piastri did at McLaren this year. Yeah. <laughs> For the love of God, give it to us, Netflix. I don't think we will get the unfiltered thoughts and feels from Otmar on Oscar Piastri. Um, but I'd love to see but it. But we want it. I want it. I'd love to see it. Yeah. Who knows? Because because really, you know, Alpine just had, like, they had such a terrible year. And, it, like, they, there was there was a lot of excitement going into it because it was, the, you know, the, the French team with the all-French lineup. You know, Pierre Gasly was finally moving away from the Red Bull Junior team to, you know, a, 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 an actual team team for the first time in his career. And I feel like Pierre Gasly, of all the drivers, is probably going to be the most forgotten of outside of like the Haas drivers and the Alfa Romeo drivers. Like, I really think that we're not like he had a podium this year and I think we're going to see none of it, um, Honestly, but we will see the Monaco podium. podium. I forgot. I did too. I forgot about yeah. Sandboard. Um We'll no, see I mean, the Monaco podium. I, well, I you yeah, know, we'll, we'll see SD besties, but yeah. yeah. But I think we'll only see it because it's Monaco. Like if he podiums yes. at Hungary, we wouldn't see it. No. And it's like, I have this on, on our, on our list of um, Esteban Ocon almost running down FIA personnel in the pit lane in Baku <laughs> on a last lap pit stop, um, which I personally feel is like one of the funniest moments that I know we're not going to see on drive to survive um, because it makes the FIA look really stupid, never forget. but also never forget that he almost killed a bunch of FIA. There, there was a question of whether it was photographers or FIA personnel. And I, fo I follow on social media, one of the Formula One photographers who said, no, it was all FIA personnel who were just walking around the pit lane because they forgot that he had a mandatory pit stop that he still needed to meet at the end of that race. I would also like to hear his thoughts and feels on getting 500 penalties. <laughs> That's what I was the thinking. most penalized driver of all time be behind Pastor Maldonado, who is the most penalized driver of all time. Um, yeah, it's they're, they're just they're, the only reason why they're going to have relevance this year is because they have a shit ton of famous investors everywhere. All that, the famous investors. That and I also feel like they could have the angle of Oscar and Otmar at the beginning of the season but at the same yeah. time like Oscar didn't start getting good and McLaren didn't start getting good until after Omar left so I feel like even mm -hmm. that's not an angle for them so they'll probably talk about the famous investors but beyond that like there's nothing going on for Alpine yeah no Alpine was they they just they didn't have a great car and you know reliability especially was just so bad this year hopefully it improves I mean, or both of their drivers races but yeah that, I like I both I think both of these drivers are trying are going to be driving this year in 2024 to prove that they deserve Lewis Hamilton's open Mercedes seat honestly I think everyone's driving for that seat this year like 2024 is the race for the race to Mercedes second seat that is what this yeah. season is so. yeah pretty much oh 